Hello, hello fellow crafty souls and welcome back to my channel Handmade by Carmen C. Welcome to the first card for the year which is a Valentine's Day card. 2024 is going to be the year of the stencil and this year the aim is to show you different techniques with different stencils. This first card is going to feature the technique that stencils do not need to be used the way they were intended. Today's card is going to feature mostly products from Waffle Flower, so I'll be using the Collage Postage Everyday Stencils, the Postage Collage Stencils, as well as the Postage Collage Stamps, and a Heart Stencil from Tailored Expressions, and also cutting out my Postage Collage. So here is the postage collage stencil this is stencil number one and this features all the open spaces which can be colored in using blending brushes stencil number two features hearts and stars and circles which can be layered over the top of each of the individual stamps so my work will start on my ultra new stamp wheel platform which holds the cardstock down beautifully and also allows the stencils to be stuck firmly in place to allow hands-free blending. And I love it because I don't have to use any tape either because tape and I, we're not good friends. We don't work well together. So each of these squares, I'll be using a different Distress Ink color and using a mini blending brush to actually apply that color. I don't go through and wash my brushes I will just go through and wipe it off on some paper towel and get it clean that way so as I mentioned earlier 2024 is going to be the year of the stencil and I chose a tool if you like that most if not all crafters have at least one in their crafty stash I know I've got uh, numerous amounts of stencils so I wanted to come up with different techniques and how to utilize stencils in different ways so this month's January's technique is uh, using stencils not how they were necessarily intended my next door neighbors dogs are currently going off their chops <laughs> These are the risks of having to film with all the doors and windows open because it is currently a stifling 33 degrees and about 80% humidity here in beautiful sunny cans. So anyway, back to the year of the stencil. Um, yeah, so each month my aim is to utilize a different technique with a stencil and to obviously have a different theme to each month as well so there may be some different um, like birthday cards featuring for special people in my life or um, you know different international day ofs throughout the year so this month's theme for January is obviously going to be uh, Valentine's However, I did leave the sentiment off this card so it could be utilised as any sort of um, occasion card. So, however the user sees fit. So, just having a look at the card, I decided to be quite rough with my blending. Obviously, leaving it more of a stippled look. Uh, I wasn't too worried about precision or anything like that because I knew that I was going to be layering up different colors and pictures over the top of each of these stencils so I was not too fussed with the blending so with these stencils I wanted to show that they don't have to necessarily be used the way they're designed they can be used upside down back to front 
can be used in conjunction with some stamping or other techniques so or even just shift it out of place so it sits slightly differently which I've done a bit of all of that I think so yeah come with me on this journey of 2024 the year of the stencil and let's explore some different techniques together and uh, see how much I can stretch my crafty legs and hopefully inspire someone else to stretch their crafty legs as well and find joy in their creativity because I I do this for fun and it's a hobby and for me it's also my mental health outlet I don't get paid for this I have to pay for all of my own supplies and my husband does not know how much I spend on all my supplies and shh, we're not going to tell anyone either <laughs> so for, now that I've got all of the uh, colored squares done my first lot of stenciling is going to be my stencil on stencil action and I've got the tailored expressions love heart die sitting over the top and I've left the initial um, stencil did I say die I mean stencil I'm having a blonde moment don't mind me um, left the initial stencil in place so it creates that border um, and make sure that everything stays in that proposed shape now I pounce that color on and it shifted a little bit and with the pigment ink it actually moved so my next step um, shape that I'm going to stencil will be the two love hearts in the top left corner and this is stencil number two from the postage collage stencil set this gets very confusing because they're two sets from waffle flower really popular absolutely fantastic gives so much creativity and now this is the postage collage everyday stencil set so as you can see here I'm actually using this stencil back to front and because I can <laughs> why not use it back to front because if you actually use the postage dies the in the way that it was meant to the die the actual cardstock has to be flipped around the other way and that will actually put it in the right direction but I just stretched it around flipped it over figured it out and used it in a different direction so that's always one way that you can use your stencils so just going through here and coloring in the individual love hearts and these little mini blending brushes I love they're shorter bristled a lot more dense so it'll, it gives you that allowance to get a uh, heavier base color in a lot quicker so the other thing I love with my stamp wheel is the fact that I can stick my ink cubes onto a little section of the stamp wheel and it will hold it in place and it is hands-free to ink up my brushes so I'm just kind of holding that stencil in place because it is in a different spot so I'm just holding it down as well as it has some grip from the stamp wheel mat as well so just going through and doing the layers of the roses and again this card could be utilized for any occasion so here I've just pulled out the lawn fawn scent with love stamps and I'm going to be using I uh, used the two individual uh, skunks for each picture so for the top the blue and the purple stamps section I will actually use the skunks so I'm going to be stamping the skunks out in the tux memento tuxedo black ink um, because I plan on copic coloring and that's the best one to stamp with so each one of the skunks I did stamp three times but I only showed you once because who needs to sit through three layers of stamping really so just going through and 
the ultra clean stamp cleaner I used to clean the skunks with you can also just spray it with some water it just really depends on your mood and how clean you want to get your stamp sometimes I like my stamps a little bit more sparkly clean so I will use the stamp cleaner every now and then and with my microfiber towel it just gets it beautiful and clean so I kind of created a little bit of a scene ish kind of um, but it was more just a, almost like a Romeo and Juliet type scene <laughs> so I am definitely not a Copic colorist if you are here for the Copic coloring specialty I'm sorry to disappoint I do try to do the three to four colors um, and do some blending however it is I do very basic coloring I do what I need to do to get me by but it works the end result it all came out quite cute I was quite pleased with how it all appeared so just going through and again I will have a list of all the colors and the markers that I used for this card along with the um, distress ink colors that I used that I did all my coloring and with and stenciling so I'll go through with my Copic coloring I went through and did the whole shape like the whole body in the lightest color then I used my mid tone then my dark is to create shadows and then go through and back out from lightest to darkest and then darkest back to lightest to do those blends and obviously they're not going to have the white stripe down the back of their head or their tail it's going to be that hint of it but I think it works really well and looks really cute um, with the purple and the blue background so I've also used some Altenew alcohol markers here um, because I've got a few different types so I just kind of use whatever colors I've got available going through and coloring the rose and I'll go through and I will color my little I've made that one a female um, just by putting a flower on its head <laughs> Um, but you can decorate your skunk however you want it to look so I colored her pretty much the same way lightest to darkest darkest to lightest blending out all the color and then coloring in the flower purple my favorite color <laughs> so just going through now with the hearts and how they got smudged with the white pigment ink I was quite disappointed so I took uh, one of the alcohol markers and just drew the hearts shaped heart shapes around the hearts to kind of make it a little bit more definitive so for all the cards that I make I stamp it with my social stamp to follow on Instagram or Facebook and then just hand sign that as well and having a look at the postage stamp card I wanted a little mount um, mat to go behind the card um, but I didn't want the mat to fill the card size so I did an American A2 four and a quarter by five and a half inch um, landscape card and I cut a quarter inch short so it became a five and a quarter by four inch mat and then the collage stamp it's a uh, collage die set itself was smaller again <clears throat> so now I'm just going through the postage collage stamp set and I'm using my VersaFine onyx black ink going through and I'm just going to stamp some individual little shapes from the stamp set um, some postage cancellation lines and some prices and things just to make it look a little bit more um postage stampy like <laughs> if you like so just going through and finding some prices picking up picking out some different little prices and also um, some hugs inside little stamps 
See, that's the one thing with when you are stamping using an acrylic block. If you don't get it right the first time, it's I would not be game enough to go back in and try and re-stamp it again. So I just had to be okay with that hugs inside being mostly stamped properly. But that is okay. It is handmade. It is not hallmark. And it's these little individual quirks that you like, if you like, that really emphasize the handmade part. And I'm learning to embrace imperfection. It doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. So... That's my journey that I'm going to take this year as well. Stretch my legs creati creatively and embrace imperfection. Give my brain space and give myself that grace and allowance to just create for joy. So eyeballed it on, got it in a good spot and here is the finished card i am so pleased with how cute it turned out thank you for watching today don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you again shortly